Hi everyone, welcome to today's Two Minute Talk. So it is National Infant Immunization Week. Parents want to do everything possible to keep their kids safe from sickness. And a big part of that is getting your children vaccinated. The American Academy of Pediatrics, Family Physicians, and the CDC all strongly recommend getting vaccinated. The World Health Organization actually listed vaccine hesitancy in their top 10 for threats to global health this year. So I'm going to talk to you a little bit more about vaccine hesitancy and what vaccines are. So vaccines include a small amount of dead or weakened antigen. This helps your body prepare for the real thing within a couple days or weeks. So basically when the disease actually does come and invade your body, your body already knows how to handle it and it can attack the invader before it even causes you any illness. Some people wonder, why does my child need so many vaccines? Well, the truth is they're susceptible to a lot of vaccine preventable diseases, so they might end up getting more than one shot at their well child check. It is also important to remember that you can't overload your child's immune system. They're encountering millions and millions of germs every day and the antigens in that vaccine are just a tiny, tiny fraction of what they're gonna encounter even the rest of the day. It is also important to remember that some vaccines require more than one dose. That's because for these certain diseases, it might just take a couple extra doses to get your body that correct level of immunity in the body. Another hesitancy we commonly see is why do we have to immunize when they're so young? Babies do get a little bit of immunity from mom when she's pregnant with baby and through breast milk. But this only lasts for the first few weeks or few months. After that, they need help from vaccines to keep them immunized from diseases. Babies and children are also more vulnerable to diseases and they can suffer more severe complications than we do as adults. There is an immunization schedule designed to help give them the best opportunity to avoid these diseases and be protected. And there is no known benefits to delaying vaccinations. A common misconception is that the United States doesn't see these diseases anymore. That's because we had vaccinations for a very long time. But as people are choosing not to vaccinate their children, we're starting to see these diseases pop up in outbreaks. And people often forget that we're traveling more internationally now. So not everywhere in the world is as vaccinated as the United States. And it's very easy for a disease to travel through a flight or a train ride to another country and infect those individuals. And there are also very common diseases in the United States, such as pertussis and chickenpox. Okay, that's all I have for you today. I hope you learned a little bit more about the common hesitancies that we see towards vaccinations.